In previous videos of this series, we've given a basic overview of how spy simulation works within Eagle. We've been able to cover the basic types of simulation that we're currently supporting. And we've done both a transient simulation as well as an operating point analysis. Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a support specialist with Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use the built-in NG Spy Simulation Library to simulate your own circuits. And we're going to use it to do a brief AC sweep, also known as a frequency analysis simulation. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I've got a fresh schematic. I've placed in a frame from the frames library. We're going to click on the add command. And we're going to search for the NG Spy Simulation Library. Now this is a new managed library that has shipped in the latest version of Eagle. And what you're going to see is that you have all of the basic simulation symbols. So if you've used any other simulator, a lot of this is going to be familiar to you. We have voltage sources, current sources, standard passive models, uh, basic transistor models as well. You, we have voltage controlled sources as well as current controlled sources, and much more. So like I said, for what we're going to do today is we're going to build just a simple filter circuit. We're going to make an RLC circuit, and we're going to simulate it using the simulation tool. So let's go ahead and place in our components. So I'm going to use a voltage source. I hit escape. I now get back to the add dialog. I'm going to put in a resistor. Hit escape again. Now I'm back in the add dialog. Put in an inductor. Find a capacitor. And we need a ground. Ground is possibly the most important spy simulation symbol and defines spice node zero. Without it, your circuit cannot simulate. So it's very, very important to uh, always include a ground symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and place it. Now we can use the net command to connect all of our parts. Yes, I do want it to be supply net zero. Perfect. OK, we can now go ahead and use the value command to add values to our components. This one will be 10 ohms. This will be 7 micro henrys. And as you can see, we can use all the standard prefixes. And the capacitor will be 5 picofarads. OK, now we could do a value on the voltage source. However, Entering a value here would require us to put it in a spice string. So if you're not familiar with the spice language, this is not maybe the best way to go. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the source setup command, which is this icon here. You can also activate it by right clicking and then clicking source setup. So you'll notice that now in the context menu, we have add model and source setup as part of the simulation integration. So I'll click source setup. We'll get this dialog here. And since we're doing an AC simulation, it's not critical that we have a DC value. We're not doing a transient simulation in this case, so I'll leave transient function as none. What we are going to put is we're going to put it in AC value. And that's what gets used when we do an AC sweep. So I'm going to say set value. And you're going to see now that the value is set up correctly to make it compatible with a SPICE simulation. So one thing I do want to do now also is put in a voltage probe. So I click here on the voltage probe icon. I place it on the net that I want to have a probe for. And I just left click again to, to extend it to the right spot. Now currently, this net is named n$3. I think I want to name it something a bit more helpful. So I'm going to use the name command. And I'm just going to name it vout. Now, for those of you using simulation for school, this setup is going to give you the transfer function, the Bode plot for this filter. Because I'm using uh, a value of 1 to be the voltage in, V out over V in is basically V out over 1. So whatever voltage I see here is going to be my transfer function, basically. So let's go ahead and set up our simulation. I'm going to click the Simulate button. I'm going to set AC Sweep. I have it set to linear, and I have the start frequency set to 10 megahertz all the way up to 1 gigahertz. Okay, 
So we're going to go ahead and click on the simulate button. And there's our response. Okay, now you'll notice that we have two responses. One is a voltage magnitude. Okay, and we also have a phase. So in my case, I'm only really interested in the voltage magnitude. So I can go to select signals and turn off. That's what I'm going to say apply changes. And now I have my magnitude. As you can see, this is a low pass filter as we would expect from the theory. Okay, we see its peak is at about 28 megahertz or so. And then we can see how monotonically it continues to uh, attenuate over frequency. So everything as is expected, and we have a nice frequency plot. So this video uh, has shown us how we can use the NG SPI simulation to be able to simulate basic circuits. Now you may be wondering, well, what if I want to simulate my own components, components that I've made in my libraries? Well, that's going to be the subject of our next video. Thank you very much, and have a great day.